going to be about around 3, 350. So, and with this wind, it's not good to go there now. So, let's have a drive and see. Maybe get um, Joshi's red heart to these and uh, the Hartman Zebra if he's still interested in it. So let's see what jumps out. All right. Okay. You want. Uh, Want to give me my 375 just in case? Yeah, what well, we can take it out um, once we see. Okay. Oh, do you want it now? We can wait. Okay. Because if we're going to do a buffalo, we're going to do it on foot. Yeah. Yeah. We will. Okay. Often, you know, they might be interested in a buffalo. Um, but 
Buffalo like to drink water here at a water hole around this time. So we're going to do a stalk on that water hole and see if they're there. So if we can get you a nice big buffalo. Just this morning we left camp with the idea of a nice red to beast. While driving um, we spot this beautiful game spot and it was too good to pass. Yes it was. So Josh took a really nice shot on this uh, game spot uh, at 150 yards with the double rifle that's something to do. He shot it here over this creek and um, yeah congratulations on this beautiful trophy. Thank you Jack. Well done. In a double rifle, it's all about the ammunition. 
you can regulate the rifle for a long time, but it's easier to regulate the ammunition. So this has all been hand loaded, uh, a very specific recipe, torture tested, uh, multiple trips to the range, different powders, different powder charges, everything. So you just have to tune the ammunition to the rifle. That one of the, one of the dangerous game series, the expanding bullets, they do a really good job. Even on the buffalo, it did a really good job. On all the animals, it did. It has done a good job. come up here on this ridge line and and uh, Jack took a little stroll down the mountain and got around where you could see up this valley here and uh, just radioed back there's a good zebra up there so we're gonna take a walk around and see if we can get in on it. And did I wait to shoot the zebra? Uh, right in the triangle. Yeah or the middle stripe. Or the middle stripe. There's some mountain zebra on the other side of this canyon. Um, just sent white through the canyon to go around them, to bring them a bit closer to us and make it easier for Levi, a uh, better shot and uh, less walking. So we hope the plan works.
see him. Yeah. Good job, buddy. <laughs> Thank God for, for dirt. You can push on my knee again. You, sir, are a gentleman on a skull. <laughs> Excellent. Well done. Thank you. Well done. Let's go and have a look at it. Now you can reload for whatever reason. Just in case. Yep. But he's down. Good job. Look at that. You smoked him right through the heart. Congratulations. That's what I've been man. meaning to do. <laughs> About time I get yeah, it. One shot. <laughs> Look at that, Josh. Straight through the heart. Congratulations on that. Wonderful Thanks shot. Sure. Yes, that's a nice old male. Uh, been looking for one for quite a while, and yeah, smoked him at about 50 yards. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you. Thank your knee Thank for you. bending. <laughs> <laughs> Thank goodness for the one patch of dirt out here. Yeah. <laughs> Something yeah. I could kneel in. <laughs> oh. Good job. It's a beautiful animal. They are. They are. Definitely good eating as well. Yeah. I love hard beast, hard beast meat. Look at the mass of the bases. Yeah. I shot mine at 550 yards. Yeah. As close as we could get hunting them in the mountains. Well, Joshua was about 500 yards closer. <laughs> That's what I hear. Why make it hard if you have? You think you could have found him a softer place to fall down? <laughs> no. I had the only patch of dirt in this whole place under my knee. He asked me if I could kneel and I, on these rocks, I don't know. And then he Coco. asked me. Tookie, 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 tookie. <laughs> and I looked down and there's one little patch of dirt. It's like, okay, maybe. He said, use my knee, lower yourself down. Managed to get that one piece of dirt. And then we shortened the sticks. We shortened the sticks, got it on target. Told me aim for the offside leg. And just before I pulled the trigger, he took one more step. Yeah, it was broad just side. about uh, broadside. This afternoon we left the lot and um, one of the camera persons, the female side of the camera persons, spot the red art beast and they walked into some thick stuff. They weren't too skittish so we did a stalk on them and it was so thick in there you could only see their legs if you're standing up and we got a bit closer to them at about 50 yards and I could see a clear shot on him but we had to kneel down. So I asked old Josh pretty please <laughs> when he kneel. <laughs> and we got, like he said, we got the only soft spot without rocks and he kneeled and he took a shot with his double, his 450, 400 and he made an excellent shot on this old harder beast bull. Congratulations on that uh, Josh. Thank you sir. You're welcome. How did it feel when you hit him? Beautiful. It was a good shot. You could hear it. Uh, he didn't run maybe 20 yards before he went down. And that was it. That's the way we want to do it. Well done. One shot. One shot.